This is an NBC News special report. Crisis in Moscow. Now, here is Bryant Gumbel. Good afternoon. This has been an extraordinary day in the Soviet Union, where Mikhail Gorbachev has been ousted from power. In what appears to have been a bloodless coup, hardliners have seized power and declared a state of emergency. Armored columns of troops have taken up positions throughout the Soviet Union, and Mikhail Gorbachev is said to be under house arrest at his vacation home in the Crimea. A committee made up of hardline KGB and defense chiefs named former Vice President Gennady Yanayev, a 53-year-old communist conservative, to replace Gorbachev. In a news conference called earlier today, the committee claims Gorbachev resigned due to ill health. Those who have seized power say the state of emergency is temporary, and they even indicated that Gorbachev could have his job back when his health improved. At the moment, tanks line the streets of Moscow, and there have been demonstrations and some gunfire, though no reports of any injuries. Boris Yeltsin, the president of the Republic of Russia, is at the center of what resistance there is. He has called on his people to resist the emergency committee, and he's urged an immediate general strike. He has also urged Soviet soldiers to abandon their posts. Meanwhile, back at home, President Bush had a chance to talk with reporters at his uh, vacation home in Kennebunkport, Maine, just before heading for Washington. One of the reasons that we have conducted our policy the way we have is to uh, encourage reform and democracy. And uh, I've said over and over again that we did not want to see a, a, a coup backed by the KGB and the military, and apparently that is what is underway. I think um, it's also important to know that coups can fail. They can take over at first and then they run up against the will of the people. So it's too early to say, uh, but let's hope that Yanayev, uh, uh, when he made his statement, was speaking from conviction. His statement being that uh, this will not mean uh, setting back, as I understand it, uh, setting back reform and commitment to uh, go forward. The president is heading for Washington as his Secretary of State, James Baker, who also cut short his vacation in Wyoming. And though those on the emergency committee are saying they will continue with the reforms put in motion by President Gorbachev, it is worth noting that they have already seized control of radio and television and have now banned the publication of all but nine newspapers, all nine of those conservatives, with the exception of Izvestia, which is the organ of the Soviet parliament. One final note, on the economic front, the markets in Asia and Europe took major hits this morning. Shares lost billions of dollars of value into the safety of U.S. dollar and gold. We invite you to stay tuned along your local station for more developments from Moscow as the occasion warrants. I'm Bryant Gumbel reporting from New York. This has been an NBC News special report. We now join the program now in progress.